What's up? How are you guys today? We're taking a look at a few different day of eatings today, thanks to the YouTube shorts. So we're going to start with Tristan Lee and some type of carnivore diet. Then we got a guy that's doing keto, uh, some girl that's like doing a college diet, and then finishing off with some girl that's traveling. But what do you guys think of this YouTube short stuff? I feel like I'd rather be on TikTok. And, you know, when I go on YouTube, you know, I want to watch like a full video. But, hey, some people are doing well with it. This is what I currently look like. And this is my full day of eating. Kickstarted the day here in Dubai with five pasture-raised eggs, 425 calories, and seven ounces of grass-fed ground beef, 417 calories. I mean, the point of the carnivore diet is to, like, not count calories. You're just eating high-quality animal protein for your cellular health. And I think last time this kid was just eating way, way, way too much protein and not enough fat. So RIP his kidneys as well as his liver. From there, I headed straight to the gym, took one scoop of Chimera pre-workout, one scoop of Chimera Palm, trained some delts, and posed down with... Now, you guys think he actually took the supplements or not? Because carnivore doesn't really mix with synthetic powders and chemicals. It seems like someone wants to do something like in the natural kind of way with foods versus using synthetic laboratory powders. An absolute monster. After that, I went to the grocery store. Glad to he has a nice beef, boyfriend eggs, in Dubai. Liver and water. Success. Arrived back home to a five pound beef heart, which I prepped and cooked up for lunch and dinner. For lunch, we fired up the barbecue and threw some New York strips, ribeyes, burgers, and liver on Everything looks pretty lean. Ribeye, 550 calories, two ounces of heart, 65 calories, one tablespoon or 15 grams of bone marrow, 122 calories, and 150 grams of wild Alaskan sockeye salmon, 205 calories. For dinner, I meal prepped a couple of dishes. That's one thing I don't really like about these YouTube shorts is you can't scroll back a little bit to just you know, show what he was having for lunch, which was the plate with the steak on it. He had the salmon on the side, uh, some pipe cut marrow bones, but it's still just way, way, way too much protein. And that amount of fat in that marrow is just kind of insignificant relatively. Question is, you know, is a carnivore diet with high protein or high fat going to destroy your liver quicker? We do know the protein is a bit harder on digestion and the fat is easier from that enzyme and absorption perspective, but Either way, say kaput to your organs. 10 ounce dishes of ground beef, 595 calories, 2 ounces of liver, 82 calories, 150 grams sockeye salmon fillet, 256 calories, and even tried out 2 ounces of beef tongue, 160 calories. Safe to say this wasn't my favorite. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, I don't think the fat was that high. I really don't. I mean... You know, he, he might be using just a general nutrition database where the fat levels are registered incorrectly because you can't really do this on a carnivore diet, you know, go on some sort of like fitness calculator and say, oh, I had steak. Oh, I had this. Oh, I had that because every single time the meat ratio for the most part, especially when you're eating steaks, even when you're eating things like beef tongue, it's going to be very, very different. I mean, you now look, he's a really young kid. He looks okay now, but, you know, between the drug usage and this type of carnivore diet, you're going to see him age very, very, very quickly, even, you know, as he gets into his 20s and mid-20s. <laughs> All right, I just opened up the comments. God help anyone near this guy. <laughs> Bro is king rank. Brody ate the whole barn. Bro takes a surgery to remove his poop. Now, you got to apologize to the cow for this. You can't tell me this guy isn't, you know... The normies have like common sense still, you know, the thing is like when I did the carnivore diet and when I did YouTube, you know, I kind of eased into it. I intelligently explained why I was doing certain things and I did a pretty good job at it. These people just jump into the carnivore diet when their entire viewer base was normies and then people just flip out and go crazy because they're doing something new. Uh, but, uh. <laughs> the, the very, very funny comments. So next up, we have this guy, High Life Workout, doing a keto diet. Full day of eating for me on the ketogenic diet. It starts off with two cans of sardines. Then I don't really eat another meat. Two cans of sardines. I cannot think of a worse start to your day than partially oxidized fish oil with toxic can lining. And e even outside of those two factors, just fish is so polluted in general. I would not include it in your diet, especially fatty fish. There are some exceptions like high quality caviar or fish from certain waters where you're getting a really, really good omega-3 ratio, but canned sardines, not something I would eat more than once or twice a month.
meal until dinner. But between that, I have some snacks. I had two of these wild cut beef jerky sticks. I had two. That's probably not that bad, the beef jerky sticks. Probably not horrible. There might be some like chemicals and spices and seasonings added that you don't want, but it could be worse. It's definitely not as bad as the uh, as the canned fish. But guys, there are healthy alternatives to all of this stuff. You can find really good, high quality European canned fish. I mean, that's very, very expensive, uh, especially some of the Spanish stuff. And same for the beef jerky. We have high quality, just plain beef, no salt added on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Two sticks of mozzarella cheese. I had three of these Quest protein. Okay, this is getting a little crazy. He had Sargento cheese sticks. I mean, like, why not just get a high quality raw cheese? It's it's crazy that you would eat those processed sticks that are pasteurized, heavily heated. It's just not good for you. And these Quest protein shakes. I mean. Does that really need explaining? This to me is what keto is to the average person. Just eating a lot of low quality processed crap that doesn't have carbohydrates in it. You know, it's conventional whey protein. It's not organic. It has all synthetic flavorings and sweeteners. And it's just really, really bad for you. And <laughs> he's drinking three of them. Shakes. And I had three more mozzarella sticks. <laughs> I ended it with a 14. Three more mozzarella sticks. Is this why all the hair fell off his body? 15 ounce ribeye at dinner. The macros for this day were 33 grams of net carbs, 103 grams fat, 200. So he's saying he's keto, but to my knowledge, I thought keto was like 80% fat. So this is more of like a, a carnivore diet, I guess. And he actually has a worse fat to protein ratio than Tristan was uh, doing and 42 grams of protein it ended up being about 2,000 calories that's a typical day for me on keto full day i mean this guy's a liar he's not eating 2,000 calories with that physique the guy's got to be 180 200 pounds lean you know that's crazy <laughs> bro's liver on life support <laughs> sardines for breakfast yeah he's probably lying dude he's yeah he's lying that's why you're surprised he's 2,000 calories on all the gear yeah the guy the guy's probably using something guy's probably using something all right guys we're, we're getting back to reality a little bit we're gonna see what a college girl eats in a day here's everything i eat in a day as someone who pretty much eats the same thing every day i eat breakfast right when i wake up and i usually have a yogurt bowl and coffee of course i also try to drink a lot of water before heading to the gym i mean yogurt bowl and coffee is healthier than what the previous two were eating in the context of liver damage you know if you go to a local farm get some high quality yogurt organic fruit organic coffee with filtered water can't complain i mean that's definitely not what she's doing and there's two drastic differences between those meals and the quality and the probiotic content and the absence of agrochemicals uh, but we can work on that after the gym i'll make a protein smoothie with frozen bananas strawberries and almond milk i also Again, if it's organic, it wouldn't be horrible. Even if, if it was organic almond milk or organic nut milk and organic fruit, it would be okay. The problem is with the conventional stuff, they had a lot of synthetic vitamins and flavorings and chemicals to almond milk usually. And there's so many pesticides sprayed on the fruit. So probably tastes good though. Always look forward to this after my workout. I'm in a phase right now where I like to make breakfast food for lunch. Today, I made an omelet with toast and that's not butter, it's cream cheese. So omelet with toast, I mean, I, it could be worse, you know, again, back to the food quality thing. Are you getting pasteurized eggs? Are you doing organic sourdough bread? Really makes a difference in not poisoning yourself and increasing the nutrient content, overall reducing inflammation. For a snack, I like to have what I call apple fries, a midday latte. So, I mean, I eat apples with every meal. Definitely want to peel them uh, to reduce the anti-nutrient content and the chemicals in the skin. And then I like to eat a big dinner. Another I coffee. have been loving this poke bowl place, so I had that. And then lastly, for dessert, I had some dark chocolate covered raspberries. Look, for, for college, for college, this is amazing. Uh, most college kids eat really, really crappy, horrible, nasty, like uh, food hall dorm stuff. You know, they usually don't have access to decent food, but she's making everything herself. Uh, this obviously costs a lot of money and most college kids probably cannot afford to do this, especially having a poke bowl like that every night for dinner. Uh, compared to the average standard American dieter, I think I think the girl's eating very well. I think she's healthy. Obviously, uh, increasing the food quality and going organic for everything would be better. 
I'm not a fan of the you know large amounts of fish every day, but a poke bowl can be reasonable depending on what type of fish you're having. Overall, could be better, could be worse. So this one is titled Realistic What I Eat in a Day. And that means to me that it's a pretty young girl that has daddy's money or some dude paying for everything. So she's never actually had to cook herself because a lot of the times these girls will do a day of eating video and you see when they get in the kitchen, it's very apparent that they don't do that on a daily basis. They're just like pretending and going along. Mango banana protein smoothie. Again, with the organic fruit being a much better choice, if you're going to use protein powder, it should be grass-fed. We're going to assume she's using some sort of plant-based protein nonsense, which in the case, this is really just a high flavonoid, high anti-nutrient slop smoothie full of fluoride and chlorine. So <laughs> probably worse than coffee. Burrito plus matcha latte. That does not look like steak, and I'm not a vegan expert, but I believe that is tempeh or some sort of fake meat substitute. And this is this is horrible. This is horrible. You know, a lot of these young women buy into this vegan crap, thinking that it's healthy, and it's actually just destroying them and making them age so much quicker. Matcha isn't usually that bad. I mean, it is green, which means it probably has a high flavonoid and anti nutrient content, but Usually it's made with pretty quality stuff. I guess from a commercial place like this, definitely not. Low calories, high in pesticides if it's not organic. You're not getting animal protein. It's, it's just, She's just going to be hungry the rest of the day. Really, really bad. So far, she's just been polluting her body with like high volume, non-organic foods. Possibly some estrogenic problems with the soy-based tempeh or whatever the vegan nonsense is. Yeah, she's got to be some sort of vegan or vegetarian. I mean, this is going to be a really oxidized product. They probably use seed oils in it. It's not organic. Maybe some chemicals, spices, and seasonings. I mean, it's not a horrible snack, but compared to what she's been eating the rest of the day, it's just not helping. Reminder, every day is different. Goes to dinner out with friends on some sort of orthorexic eating disorder diet. I think this is a pretty good example of what young women should not be doing. And, you know, it's no surprise that so many women now are having fertility issues at all ages. And people overall are just so unhealthy when eating like this is normalized, you know, with a lack of just calories and animal protein in general. Yeah, the priority is to remove the negatives from the diet. We want to go organic. We want to remove the agrochemicals. We want to stop poisoning ourselves. But then you also have the additional component, the positive, adding the nutrients to your diet. And if you don't have that animal protein base and just calories to survive and be healthy, I mean, what are you doing? You know, what's the point of putting food in your body? Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed uh, one of these clowns. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe at some point in the near future, we can get someone with a reasonable diet on here, but you can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses and support me. Definitely take a look at organsupplements.com guys. Uh, we got some new products on there and we'll do a big launch this week. Outside of that, as always, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining guys and we'll see you soon.